before you get the wrong impression, Andy and I were not trying to damage our 1965 Clark Cortez motorhome. It's just that certain courses of action need to be taken in certain types of situations. And we were in a panic situation because this story was supposed to be the opposite. It started with a calm, easy job. Oh, beautiful. Changing spark plugs. But then went downhill. You should. Fire oh. up really nice and quick. definition of quick that no. I was thinking we would I was get. expecting a bit quicker than that. And then we had this. Oh my god, it's a snake in the corner. Ah! So basically, you're welcome for a more compelling story. How do we get him out? Shoot him in the head. A much more compelling story. Oh, it's so long. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm Elle, and this is Andy, and we're overhauling an antique RV before seeking our greatest adventure yet. You can come along too, so subscribe and roll up your sleeves because there's a lot of work ahead. To install the new spark plugs, we need to disconnect the ignition leads first. Before we take the old plugs out, I just want to clean the seats around them because they're dirty. So give them a squirt of brake cleaner, then go around them with a brush, and then another squirt of brake cleaner. Can I spray your side and you paint it? Uh, it'd be easier if I did it, but okay. I want to do it. Did I harm it? As long as you didn't squish it flat, it's fine. What if I did? Then we just need to buy some new ones. Or squish it round again. No, that's okay. Okay. Now we can go ahead and remove the old plugs. You have to push the... I, I know. Up. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. 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 That's what you get for being mean. You okay? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, there's no crying in vehicle mechanics. Oh. <laughs> Brace you. Okay, but I've got four out and you've got three out. <laughs> Before we install the new spark plugs, we've got to check the gap on them. And for these, we need 035 inch, which is this guy. So you just take a plug, put the feeler gauge in, see if he slips in, and that does. So that's gap perfect. Yep, he's in. And they're all good. So now we can put a bit of copper slip on them and install them into the engine. Just a tiny little bit on the end and then as we thread it in, it'll spread it up the thread. That much? No, not any more than that. Maybe a bit less next time. Don't get any on the electrode. There you go, that'll do. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna wipe them and put copper slip and hand them to you. Okay, are you still gonna do your side? Yeah, but I'm gonna do, I'm gonna help you with your side first. Okay. Cause you'll need help with yours. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Do you want me to copper slip you now? I'd best do a good job after application was so wonderful before. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. I was talking about you, not your work. <laughs> you smooth operator. There you go. Thank you, sir. What's, what's not happening? It's not threading in or it's tight? It's going in now that I put my butt up in the air. Okay. Second to last job is to torque them in I place. I love this thing. 
My instruction said we need 30 foot pounds. This is one of my favorite tools. Uh huh. Because it's combining my favorite tool, but then it's throwing in like a technology advanced part of it. A technology advanced part. There we go. Wow. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure, sir. <laughs> Look, I'll do one of yours for this one. Oh wow, you got it. Yeah. Am I doing something wrong? Yeah, you're not putting enough effort in. I will take over and do two of yours. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. Some feel like they're so much tighter than the others. Now our spark plugs are done. Now we need to connect the, the ignition leads and job's done. Remember it's one. I know, I know. Okay, just checking. Are you going to check mine to make sure I push them in all the way? Yeah, trust you. No, but I think I'm going to double check. Okay, I have to check. Okay, I think they're all mine are right now. Okay. Yep. 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 And just to confirm, I did one, three, five, seven. Yes, perfect. Okay. Right. Connect the battery and fire it up. Yes! You excited? Yeah. You should fire oh, up God. really okay. nice and quick. Are we ready? Yes. Now. Oh, this isn't the definition of quick. No. I was, thinking we would I was expecting a bit quicker than that. You comfy in your seat? <laughs> okay. Sounds really good. Okay, ready? Ready. Square bear with me, I gotta get it here. Yeah, let's go. troubling sound. It seemed to be a sort of rubbing sound, and no matter how long we drove, we couldn't quite figure out what it was. Or where it was. means we had to stop our time
test drive to investigate. I'm going to jump out. I'm going to jump out as well. You've got loads of smoke going out last night. I know. Moving past the smoke, though, Andy tried his best to figure out what was causing the rubbing sound. But without an ability to jack up Air Cortez to get underneath, his job was not easy. What do you think it is, Ann? I think it's either one of the shocks or it's the anti-roll bar. It's the only thing to do when you bounce. It's the only things that move when you bounce are the shocks and the anti-roll bar. So, I don't really know. Maybe I'll sit in and have a look through the engine bit. I'm gonna jump in. And with that, our oh, biggest yeah. surprise yet. So prepare yourself to. Oh my god, it's a snake in the Cortez. It's just a, a common black snake. Uh, I really am. I shall go out the back in case he lunges at you. How's he gonna lunge at me? Oh my gosh! We were like staying there forever. He's really cute, but he's very much at alert. Okay, yeah. what are we gonna do? We're gonna open this door. And then we're gonna use one of their- No. I should point out I wasn't trying to ruin Andy's snake handling plans, but here's what he was proposing. He wanted to take these wooden poles that we used in an attempt to pull on our RV cover and hook our snake, good. pluck it from our Cortez and place it outside. Oh no! Uh, that was going so well. So in my mind, you think we can rescue it? If we couldn't even handle controlling an RV cover with those poles, there was no way we were rescuing any snake from under our dashboard. I think we should get someone in here to get him, like my aunt or uncle who has more experience with snakes than us. How did, they're not experienced snake handlers, though. What do you do to get rid of snakes? To answer that question, I grab my phone. Now listen, I'm about to confess something despite my embarrassment. I was so anxious that I actually Googled not how to get a snake out of a car, but instead how to get a snake out of a Cortez, as if the Google world actually understood what a Cortez was. Oh, and just so you know, this is what was shown. Something about a museum of natural history, a question asking how do you get rid of mothball snakes, a journal of some creepy crawlies, Nike's classic Cortez snake print sneaker, and books that either have the word snake or Cortez in them. So back to the drawing board. What do you think if we just open the door? Yeah, I mean, open the door from the outside. No, I'm scared to go near him. You have the outside of the Cortez. <laughs> okay, well then, tell me if he does something to me. She's looking at me now. Okay, I'm calling my uncle. Just keep an eye on him. Tell me if he comes over here. No, you got. They can. They can jump like six feet too. They can. I've watched nature shows. Love. I should mention, I'm not sure what nature shows I watch because an internet search reports, on average, snakes lunge half their body length. So our four foot snake could strike two feet. Uncle Don, it's your niece, Laura. Um, we have a snake in the Cortez. How do we get it out? Yeah, he's black with a yellow body or a belly. Is he nice? Snatch it. Wait, at this point when the words snatch it were recommended, I thought there must be a misunderstanding. So I put the phone on speaker. He bite you. He may bite us if he's provoked. He said he's nice unless well, yeah, we provoke nice him. Unless you provoke him. How do we get him out? <laughs> <laughs> uh, a 
down and I'd come down and shoot him with snake shot. No, please don't kill him. Please don't kill him. Because I wasn't going to call you because I don't want him to be dead. I just want him to be removed. Can you just... Uh, I, ain't, I ain't playing with no damn snake. Can you just get him out? But just get him out, you know? Just, like, get him out. Well, we can get him out. No. You can't get him out? Uncle Don? If you sit there and leave everything open, he might go out. Might wasn't what I wanted to hear, so I threw in this. Uncle Don, we're we're parked in front of Chicken House too, like on the. Come on, dude. He said, "Don't provoke him." I'm not provoking. I'm trying to bridge him out. He's been being shot up there. Can't shoot him in the cortez. No, I know. He's not gonna. He's not gonna shoot him in here. No, it's a snake shot. It don't hurt nothing. It's just like a tiny rat shot. But it'll kill him, won't it? Yeah, cause I'll shoot him in the head. <gasps> said it doesn't hurt anything. It's like a little time. Well, I don't So we can't nudge him out. Is he close to one of the door? Yeah, he's he's right at the passenger door. I will open that door and make a lot of noise at the back or something. Okay, okay, we'll do that. We'll do that. Okay. Okay, thanks, Uncle Don. With it determined my uncle was indeed not a snake rescuer, we moved to taking matters into our own hands. Do it higher. Do it in different patterns. Can you beat harder? The edge we moving? The answer, no. So we moved to more innovative ways. Make noise inside of there too. Come on, dude. It's time to get out. We're moving, we're moving. Down. Come on. Okay, is he going to hide somewhere else though? No, that, that goes to the floor. Oh my God, look how long it is. He's not coming out my problem though. Oh no, really? Do you see his tail? No, it's gone. It's gone? God. So we can't get him out now. Oh, oh What? Oh, what? Oh, looking at me again. <laughs> I think he's trying to find a way out. Yeah, I think so too. I think we need to turn back on the engine, go outside, beat, 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 to give him this area to come through. Because he doesn't know how to get out. Okay, now come out and beat instead. Andy wanted to make noise a different way. I'll do it, I'll do it. Using the horn. Oh! What? I'm scared me. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> In the end, now you understand why we were beating on our beloved antique and why we were a bit panicked. Yeah, he's coming. Oh yeah, he's going in the battery area. This is good. Oh wait, he's coming, he's coming. Right, nah, he's coming. Yeah. Okay, he's about to drop onto the floor. Oh, he's so long. I've got him moving, I've got him moving. Oh my God, there's a snake in the contest. But instead, it had other plans. What? Oh my gosh, he is! Get him out! He's trying to climb up the tire! Yeah, grab him! Just grab him! Y'all, this is what it's like to live in the country if you were ever curious. Snake's trying to get back into Air Cortez, so Andrew's literally hooking him. Okay, good, yes. Yeah, this is so much nicer. Yes! Yes, yes! Okay, okay, good, good, good! It's okay! Move the Cortez, love. Get it. Oh my gosh. You did great. <laughs> Snake Wrangler. What shall we add that to? Come on, do you shimmy on? Look, and there he goes. Good boy. Listen. 
Good boy. You saved your life! My uncle wanted to shoot you! In the face, no less. He was right near where you were working all day. I know. <laughs> like his face appeared out the side. I opened that little vent and his face, he was like, what's up? I was like, ah! Now we had one final dilemma. Oh my God, how many more could there be in there? Oh, I bet they go in there because there's mice in there. I mean, in that case, they can stay. I just want them to leave when we get in. This is how we get in the Cortez for <laughs> you. You pop it. Oh no! No, you have to hold it in. Okay, you, you pull and I'll push. Okay, okay. Ready? Yeah. yeah. It could be in here. It could. I'm. I want to look under there, see if there's any eggs or something. I have no idea when snakes give birth. They. Everything mates in the spring, like right now. Uh, last year it was hornets. We we stepped up a bit from hornets. <laughs> oh. That's not good. <laughs> They're building in there. <gasps> They could be anywhere. It could be like underneath of my armpit right now. We don't know. Yeah, you're right. Like, could be in the toolbox or anything. Yeah, like I'm saying, he could be right here in but, this side. Well, he's not. He's gone. Oh my God, I'm so scared. <laughs> like, what if his missus is there? <laughs> like, oh my God, I can't. I can't do it. I can't, I can't do it. Like, do we have a mirror? Where's my phone? Oh, I'm... I, mm. What? Let's sell the Cortez. Does anybody want to buy a Cortez? Everything looks like a snake looking at me right now. Ah! <laughs> You're such a jerk. There are times I really think I love you and then there are times that I hate you so much. What time are we on now? I'm honestly feeling like I'm about to have a heart attack. Saves your right, Don't they say that you have pain in your arm? Saves your I right. I have pain in my entire body. What does that mean? That's not a heart attack. You're fine. Like. You can drive it back to the- I'm not driving it back. I'm not, I'm not, no, driving. I'm not. I drove it like up and down here like four times. I'm not driving it. You're driving it. I'm not doing it. Don't you threaten me with that snake removing stick. You're driving it back on your own and I'm going to walk beside it. If I scream. <sighs> Check for snakes. Not now. though it wasn't our Cortez's fault. Our steel beast was probably anxious over the snake too, so while Andy bravely conquered driving back, I enjoyed a leisurely stroll behind him, listening to the new strange sound that our Cortez was making. I wonder if it somehow has something to do with the gearbox? No, it's not. It's something bouncing. My guess is it's the exhaust. Turns out it was neither, but that's our next story. <laughs>